I'm gonna be since I have like a different uh, collection of makeup, I like to call it. I'm gonna be doing different products on one side of my face. So I'm gonna show you how one side works, and then I'm gonna show you how the other side looks. And you tell me what products you like. You like that I use. Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder right now. That's what's happening. So I'm gonna try my best to look at you guys. So let's get started. I know I have textured skin, so I just can't go and do it in a video even when I know my face. Put my line. So I can straight and start wherever. So now I'm gonna show you. <laughs> it looks kind of crazy, huh? So now I'm gonna show you how the different makeups look. Let me wash one of my sponges. I'm gonna use this one today. Okay, so first, let me put this here. First, I start off with canceling out my face. So, I'm gonna use this on both sides because I don't have two ring things. So, I'm gonna cancel out the red on both of my sides of my face. If you hear background noise, it's because it's me, my dude, and my kids. This to show you how this looks. How this one looks. I think I still have a little more in it. And hopefully you can see a difference. I mean, I like both of them, but preferably just because this one ran out. So this one is droplet. This one, a lot, little bit goes a long way, but I get kind of excited. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend it out. See how it goes on your eyes. Let me try one more time. This has a lot of good coverage, as you can see. Let me get some more like that. Now I'm gonna do this side. This side is the one that's a lot softer. They're both in the same color, so it, you might not be able to tell the difference. But I really prefer this one because it's so light, and you can like put three dots of it. You see how like, I mean, this one looks a little cakier than this one. Do you see how, how much lighter that side looks? This one is the Total Control Drop Foundation. This is the one that I normally buy. Now I'm gonna show you the different concealers that I have. So last time I showed you the e.l.f. and then for the other side. So for this one, I'm gonna put this. This might be a little too light. I like to put it right here too because it kind of makes like a foundation for the eyeshadow to go. So that's the first side. You see the difference? Put this line on my face. So for the other one, I'm gonna use the Wonder Stick. You can draw it on like that. Put 
a lot more like doesn't like the flashback won't look as bad and what I mean by flashback is in pictures sometimes people can look like super ghosty there what I used I use elf on this side and I use the next wonder stick on this side the other side on this side so I like to put like a, a good amount of this and I'm gonna put this and I'm gonna put So now I'm gonna blend this out. Remember, I showed you. In the video, it looks super dark, but once you blend it out, it looks really nice. So now I'm blending that part out. You see how like subtle that is? That's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Okay. 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 And also, too, if you're like a little heavier, like I used to do this all the time when I had a double chin. Go ahead and show you how the Anastasia goes on. Because, like I said, this is more of a pomade. Because I don't normally use it. I just go in with this with my finger, honestly. Because. That's all. Like, you know, if you're a little too much. more forcefully so this one you see you really have to like rub it in there maybe you can see it right there see this one is a lot more pigmented oh it put too much in there here you see how it just makes my jawline like more defined Maybe it's just my application. This one I kind of put a little silly. <coughs> so I have the NYX setting powder. And I also... I also have this, but I don't know how much left of it I have. Okay. So I'm going to show you how this is show you on this side I'm gonna put it under my eye this one is really soft like I love this one I this is bare mineral setting powder and on this side, chalky, but I like using it. I don't really bake anymore because it used to make my, it used to make me look really, really, really white. Um, so this is the Nick side. And then this is the bare minerals. See what I mean about the Anastasia thing? Like, <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe off. I have two of these brushes, so I'm going to use this side. And this is the shimmery side, okay? So I'm going to put it right here. And this is the NYX bronzer. Like I said, it's a little shimmery. Can you see it? I 
bad. So when I put too much, I kind of like to go in with this. And I just like to blend a little more. And I'm going to go ahead and take off that part. And now for this side, I'm going to go ahead and use my Anastasia powders. I'm going to get my other brush. I'm going to show you which ones I do use. I use this one and I use this one. I kind of did it. This one I go super light with because it's used a lot. It can leave like a mark. So I kind of just pat it like that. I've grown to really like this one because a little bit goes such a long way. So I just kind of do like the, you see how nice it is? Like you can tell this one is glowy and this is more of a realistic look. So you see the difference? I honestly, so for the summer, I like to look more shimmery. And when I go out, like say me and Miguel go on a date, I like to use this because it's like, um, I don't know how to explain it, but I like using this when I do go out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat to you, I'm not a makeup guru. So if you come for me, fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. It's such like. So see how this one, this one's really nice. I'm just gonna fairly tap this right here. You're gonna see, I feel for this one, you can really see the difference. And Miguel, how much was this? So Miguel bought this for me a long time ago. Little funny story. I graduated from beauty school and Miguel Miguel brought me Miguel brought me to Sephora and he said get whatever you want because he was trying to be a big daddy and be a big spender. So I got like five or six things and it came up to three hundred dollars. Cause he didn't know how expensive things that um things from Sephora was. So <laughs> sorry. This side I used this. And then for this side, I used this, the um, NYX Professional Makeup Born to Glow. <laughs> so this one's for dates, and then this one's I use in the summer. Show you what I use for my under eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with what I was last on. Brushes like this, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dab that. And I'm going to go ahead and put that under my eye. Put it in this direction. I try to be mindful how much of this I'm putting because it comes on really light. And I think I noticed that when I took a picture one day and I looked like fucking Casper. I'm just going to put some of this out. See, you see it just all, it already brightened in my face. But I gotta blend it in because it comes off. So this is the e.l.f. Since it's too light on my skin, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use it as to set my concealer. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. You can obviously tell what's drugstore makeup right now, but yet again, maybe it's the way I'm applying it. I'm not a fucking makeup guru with no time for you. So I'm gonna blend that again. Kind of get my realistic look. So do you kind of see the difference? Can you see the, can you see it? So this side, um, yeah, I use the bronzer. So this side I use the bronzer. I don't know, um, Anastasia. So 
So this side, I want to say this side looks more matty, and then this side looks has more of like a glow to it. Which side do you like? Well, don't judge the way I applied it because I'm not a makeup guru. I'm gonna use um, the orange for my blush. And like I said, this is a lot more subtle. You see? It's orange, but it it complements it. Okay. Well, I feel like in beauty school, they're teaching you to be figure eight. Burn this in a little more. Do you see the orange? I think this like shimmery, so I'm gonna use the blush please <coughs> powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers since I realize I get more out of it with my fingers. And then I'll go ahead and blend it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and this one's a lot more shimmerier. This one's the orange side, and then this side is the shimmer, which I think I put on my skin. This, the blush please for this side, and then for this side, like I said, I just got it from the Anastasia. I used the orange one. Uh, I'm not going to do my eyebrows, or because I have like a specific way I do it. I do them really basic. I just kind of like brush it into my thing but i think i'm just gonna go over them i'm with the mexican now so that makes me mexican but i still see the chat okay love eyeshadows i'm gonna use this natural eyes on this side because I feel like this side looks a little more natural um, fashion just gonna use this a little bit right there I like this because it's a subtle color I go ahead and use cashmere bunny really really basic so I'm gonna put this right up here the cashmere bunny This one's a little darker, so I'm not going to do it as harsh. And then for the top, I'm going to put a little bit of this Heaven. Just a little bit more. Okay, and I'm going to just blend it out a little bit. And, and I'm going to put a little bit of my Sexpresso right here for this. This is the Too Faced Natural Lights, so I like to do very subtle makeup. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Silk Teddy. I used um, a little bit of the Silk Teddy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of gold on it. On the camera, but it's looking good to me. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the Erotica just up here to kind of give it the appearance that it's a smoky eye. Um, to take my fluffy eye blender brush by e.l.f. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of softly blend that out. So here I have a pretty natural look. 
gonna go ahead and show you how it is pure. I think this is pur. I got this from one of my fellow bridesmaids. Her name's Janet. And it has all these nice colors. This, my base, it's called Photo Op. This one. And this one's a lot more pigmented. So I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out a little bit just like to smooth it out. See, this is a really nice color too. Photo op right here. And then I'm going to put another color. I'm gonna go ahead and put um Instaworthy. Okay, and I'm gonna Put that one right there. That one is actually a lot, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you know, when I was in middle school or high school, I would literally just leave it like that. I did not know what blending was. I was that girl with the orange face. So, to all my ba Bonita Barons, holla! My face ain't orange no more, bitch. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this euphoric in my I put this one right here Ooh, it is shiny I'm gonna mix it with pure bills that's this color I'm gonna put that right there too stepping out of brown is crazy for me or that's all I see but I like to use the I'm a big glitter person I like glitter or maybe it's just because I'm a mom so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here gonna blend it out a little bit. so this one creates kind of like you see how it just blends in with the um And then to get a little risky, I'm going to put some purple right here. It's this purple one that's actually a really pretty color. This is my Smashbox. It comes with like this dial and then you can make this one look like that. Okay. I'm going to blend it a little with this. Do you see the purple? Okay. Um, so that's that. So this is this side. And then this is this side. I just usually put like a mascara lately because I don't like, I've been too lazy to do my eyeliner. I'm going to show you the sky high. But I like to use my Better Than Sex mascara to kind of um, just start them off. So. See how it just spreads it out? I love it. Because it does such a phenomenal job. For this side, I'm going to use the Sky High Mascara. So for the Sky High Mascara, do you see, like, it just kind of combs it. And it makes it, like, literally sky high. But baby, snap your cheese in. So this is the Sky High. See, it has like a thicker one, and this one goes on like this. So it does flare it out. Oh my god, I scared you. It does flare it out, but I feel like it doesn't elongate it like the sky high, obviously. Fuck! See the difference? So this is the mink, excuse this, and then this is the sky high. You can't really see the sky high, it's kind of thin, but you can tell how much longer. But these ones are pretty nice too. So you see. <coughs> now I'm going to show you the different lipsticks.
like I told you, this is ColourPop, and it's a matte one. And these are the final looks. So let me go ahead and turn the light off. So on this side, you see how pink, you see how pink this lipstick is? Is this the right button? You see how, like, um, so for this side, I use the NYX mainly, okay? So for this side, I use the NYX. This is the shimmer one. You can tell it's a little shimmered. I used the Mink Mascara, and right here I used the Pure Eyeshadow and the ColourPop. On this side, I used the Anastasia, my lip gloss, and I used the Naturalize by Too Faced. And everything here is pretty much Anastasia. Tell me which side you like better, honestly. I know the lighting in here kind of sucks, but I'm not a professional, Jessie Hart. So that's my video. Thanks for joining me. I hope this kind of gave you some insight about how some of them work. I'm not a makeup guru, so just let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like these. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Take it off now. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye.